As a heads up, I'm a little bit sick. <sighs> However, I really wanted to get this video out because it's super fucking valuable, is the revamping of the game itself. A lot of the guys in the industry who do not support Cold Approach Pickup, they say to build a social circle. And how do they say to build a social circle? Just become famous. Yeah! Just get super popular, just make a lot of money. To be fair, if any of us could, we would become famous. It's extremely fucking competitive. You can't tell an entire viewership to do that. It's dumb advice. I also have a lot of contempt for people in my industry who are bending their morals for views, who are pushing a negative narrative that hates women because this mindset and this belief system is honestly gonna make you a lot worse with women in general. It's gonna honestly kick you in the ass in the long haul. It's gonna hurt you. But instead of writing these wrongs and teaching a more positive, empathetic side of game, they instead wanna teach hate. They wanna attack me, they wanna attack you, they wanna attack everybody around them because again, it gets views. And here I am over here seeing everybody in my industry as men in arms. We're all on the same side. We're trying to help out other men who are trying to improve the women to help a generation of men who are massively suffering. The men's situation in dating has been exasperated by the internet and nobody's really giving a very good answer. The world has changed and I feel the pickup community has to as well. It has been narrow-minded and victim-oriented for over a decade. So with that being said, let's unveil the next iteration. Now, if you guys are interested in a bootcamp, text me at 702-841-9909. Now, a lot of guys will say, don't go out and do cold approach. It's bad. Don't go spam. Don't go spam approach. This is dumb. Yes, if you are at a certain place in your game, you have to. You have to develop social skills. This is necessary. But there is a level above this that you guys need to be taken advantage of. And I will be breaking it down piece by piece. Now, a lot of this style is blending the four pillars of game with cold approach. Blending the social circle, the dating apps, the online ability, the lifestyle with cold approach. Piece number one, club hacking. Now, if you guys see me out in the club ever in Vegas, you guys will notice that everybody knows me. Everybody's running up to say hi to me, high five me. Girls will run up to hug me. This was developed on purpose. I made my environment like this to feed me this energy to look like I was the popular guy to make me look like I'm famous. I'll go to such lengths to hire a bodyguard where his specific role is to make me look like I am popular, like I am in demand. Another piece you guys are missing out on is embracing the friend zone. When you guys talk to a girl and she doesn't feel sexually aroused by you, you guys will just walk away or you guys will try to convince her to like you. What about the third option? Instead, you friend zone her and embrace the friend zone. <coughs> oh, fuck me. Now you have a female friend that you can go out with. Now if you ever see her, you can go hug her and this builds pre-selection. If you do this enough times over, eventually you have a huge group of very hot girls that you're friends with. Now, legitimately approach all. What I mean by this, I go out to the clubs all the time. I see you guys literally standing in the corner, eyeballing and looking around for hot girls and ignoring everybody else. Talk to everybody, talk to guys, talk to groups, talk to couples, talk to everybody, make everybody your best friend. Assume they're your best friend. Now by doing this, you can add them to your, to your social circle and you can add them. You don't know how somebody might even help you or how you might just create a really cool friendship. Girls don't like the loner, they like the popular kid. And when you assume friendship with somebody, it's a frame battle. They'll fall into the frame if you believe it's strong enough. What you're doing here is you're working to become popular. Even talk to the bouncer, talk to the owners if you run around them, talk to people at tables, make friends with everybody, draw everybody in. I went to a club in San Diego and within the very first night I was there, I ran into a group of super cool ass pickup guys. They were dope, they, there, there was nothing off of them. They were just really cool ass guys. And I was surprised when they didn't know the owners, they didn't know the bouncers, they didn't know the girls that work behind the bars or the people that generally got tables there or the bottle girls, it was insane. And in my very first night there, I made friends with the owner. I made friends with the guy that owned the top table. We actually got a table right behind the DJ in this club. How valuable is that in a pickup scenario? Now, some tricks you can use to befriend people that work in the clubs, give them pet names. So there's a guy that works excess, I call him V. Why do I call him V? Because <laughs> This guy over and over has forgotten my face because he talks to so many people every day. And now that I've said his name, V, like I know him seriously, now he started remembering me because he felt bad because he must know me if you have, I have a pet name with him. I also say things like, good to see you, man, what's up? And if I actually did talk to him before, I'll bring up something in our last conversation. A really good book to read on this is The Like Switch, if you guys want to learn more about this. How do you hold together this giant social circle? Instagram. Use Instagram, download Instagram. You guys are ridiculous for this. Stop with phone numbers. Phone numbers suck in comparison to Instagram. The retention is completely different. Whereas a girl will remember you for like maybe two to three days. Now she'll remember you for two to three years. It's better retention for girls and for a social circle of cool guys, of owners and bouncers. You add them to your Instagram and guess what? They're gonna remember you. If you take time off a game and going out or you travel somewhere, you come back, they still will remember you. Now with this, you gotta get good photos. So that means the journey of a thousand photos, take a ton of photos that make you look socially intelligent. Get really good at taking photos, practice. 
A lot of you guys don't have the social awareness yet to take good photos. That's something, that's a skill set you guys got to develop. And you do that by taking a lot of photos. If you guys are not doing good on dating apps, I promise you, it's not that the fact that you're ugly or something like that. It's the fact that you don't know how to fucking put off a socially intelligent look in your in your photos. I've, I've worked with so many people through dating apps. And I there were so many times where I'm like, I have to tell the guy, hey, your, your facial expression makes you look autistic or makes you look out of it or makes you look a little bit in your head. No girls want to date a guy like that. You look like you're like you'd be weird on the date or weird to hang out with. You want to take photos to make you look socially intelligent. Now, if you guys want to see photos that look socially intelligent, follow me at Las Vegas Lost Boy on Instagram. Check it out. Now you can use Instagram to even throw parties or throw events to invite all these girls and all these people, these cool individuals to an event. I'm probably going to start doing camping. I'm probably going to start doing water rafting. I might even th throw parties. I might do a ton of different things and my Instagram will benefit and help me out in running these events where I can control the environment, where I'm the leader and I'm the popular guy in this environment. This advice is lethal. And if you're not taking this seriously, you're an idiot. I'm sorry, I love you guys, but I, there's so many of you who are gonna watch this video and make excuses for why you can't do this. And to be fair, not everybody can win. Not everybody's allowed to win, not everybody can, and that's fine. Some of you guys are gonna fucking listen to this advice and be like, here, one day I'll do that. One day I'll figure this out. Do it now, make the Instagram now. Some of you guys don't even wanna take fucking photos. Are you out of your fucking mind? You guys are like, no, I got to get to a certain body fat percentage. Oh, I need to uh, f get the right photographer. I need to get the right camera. No, take photos now. Th not later, now. Okay? Some of you guys are going to be like, oh, I'm not going to befriend people at the clubs. Yes, you are. Befriend people at the clubs. And go to the most popular clubs with the hottest girls. Don't go to some bumfuck dive bar. Go to the... If you're living in a big city, go to the most popular clubs with the hottest girls. Why are you going to make this social circle in a mediocre club or a shit-ass club? Go to the best. Go to where all the hottest girls go and the coolest people go. Surround yourself with cool, empathetic, awesome guys. A lot of you guys surround yourself with, to be fair, pit, weird pickup guys. And I know there is that percentage of you guys who are still trying to figure out this, this charisma side of game. That's fine. But you guys need to become the popular kid. And if you guys have cool friends, the girls are going to look at you as the leader, as that bad motherfucker. And you're going to get hotter and hotter girls because you just have that social circle. Girls don't like guys who are around weirdos. Girls don't like guys who are, unfortunately, shut-ins. They want a guy who is loud, who is vibrant, who is socially powerful. With that being said, peace. I need a king, give me the throne. I need a queen, she better than most. I need a palace, I need a horse. If you want gold, then I am the source. I need a crown, I need a sword. I got my team, we going to war. You are my kids, you be my pawns. We don't relate, you taking a loss. I am a king, give me the throne. I need a queen, she better than most. I need a palace, I need a horse. If you want gold, then I am the source. I need